Okay, in this next question right here, it says in the standard XY coordinate plane, what is the distance in units between the point three comma seven and the point eight comma 10? Okay, so now you can see here, I have, I've put a distance formula in here. I want you to try to memorize this as closely as possible as you can, okay? And as you can see on this side, I put the way the coordinates are, x1, y1, x2, y2. That just goes with up here. This is x1, this is y1. This is x2, this is y2. And you see the formula says distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So all we have to do, they gave us these four, they gave us these two points with four digits and that's all we have to put in here. So as we can see, what I like to tell my students is try to label these. This is X1, this is Y1. This is X2, this is Y2. Now that we have that, we can see X2 minus X1. So X2 is eight, X1 is three. So this is gonna be eight minus three. Now, y2 minus y1, y2 is 10, y1 is 7, so 10 minus 7. Now, from here, once we put those numbers in, and I like to put the parentheses just so we don't make mistakes on signs, because on certain questions, some of these coordinates may be negative. So, for instance, if this 3 was a negative 3, then we would have to be adding here. I just want to make that known for a special case, okay? Now... 8 minus 3 is going to be 5. So first, let me rewrite, and I want all the students to rewrite. So this is going to be 8 minus 3 is 5 squared, right? 10 minus 7 is going to be 3 squared. So I got my answer for here, down here, and I got my answer here, down here. So 5 squared is 5 times 5, which would equal 25. 5 times 5. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Now we're coming down to the end. All we have to do is add the 25 and 9. So D is equal to the square root of 25 plus 9 is going to equal 34. So your distance is going to be the square root of 34. Okay?